I write these verses, they get slightly nervous. I line them up until everything is aligning perfect. Slack jaws talk a lot, but have no biting purpose. They're just pseudo intellectuals like Kyrie Irving, such a whiny person. People like that have a chip on their shoulders. They're always quite mad. They feel typecast. Let's start shortening the facts. Y'all aren't likable, nothing more to it than that. It's your personality, it's a boring and it's crap. Passive aggressive. What's unfortunate is that you'll probably never get it because you lack self-awareness. You don't see your flaws, so can't self-repair it. If you look at things through the wrong end of the lens, your world's distorted, perceptions bent in a sense. Your reality is unreliable. Kyrie is the kind of guy who's inclined to subscribe to lies and hoax. Y'all remember when he thought the earth was flat? We laughed at him, so then he reversed it back. But I'm gonna talk about who he quoted that's worse than that. He quoted Alex Jones, that worthless sack of sh Here's a reminder of what that bastard did. Took years of lawsuits to get his to quit. Harassing parents who tragically lost their kids. As Sandy Hook, this human ball of sh had the gall to spit on those children's graves. He said it was fake, the whole ordeal was staged. His very own supplements must have killed his brain. Cause till this day, he seems to feel no shame. Pedal conspiracies, screaming the seem smart. Brainwash the viewers, the legions of retards. How dumb you gotta be believing this bearded butterbean. But they did, cause they created fear and suffering to those parents. On top of the pain their souls bearing, got blamed of a conspiracy that's incoherent. The more I think about it, the more I wanna write this faster. Jones convinced people the parents were crisis actors. Lion bastard, you know what really infuriates? They can't even get their own conspiracy theory straight. Cause I thought they said the whole thing was purely staged. Then they admit people died, but was clearly aimed at trying to gain support to pass a big incentive? People actually died. Y'all are sick, demented. Twenty kids were murdered, ages six and seven. Lifelong trauma for the ones who lived to tell it. To make matters worse, the parents had an added curse. They couldn't visit graves because of the callous jerks who stalked them, sent threats. They were that disturbed. The parents would move, but the trolls were fast to learn their new address and would immediately dox them. The harassment would grow increasingly hostile. Wherever they went, someone was stalking the families. The Posners moved seven times to stop it from happening. Their final place? It was hundreds of miles away. Thanks to Jones, they couldn't be near their child's grave. This fraud hurtfully spread tons of lies. Looking like a raw meatball come to life. Alex Jones somehow looks like a cross between Meatwad and Carl from that show Aqua Teen. What did Anna call him? A fat f Yup. Lumpier than potatoes before it's mashed up. Obviously, I mean no offense to heavy folks. Just this Humpty Dumpty piece of crap sweating yolk. Someone put them back together. I'm on a different task. Back to Kyrie's Alvin and the Chipmunk looking at. Why you look like that, man? Like you got truth to tell. You tried to climb your ivory tower's roof and fell. And it doesn't help that your default facial expression makes you look lost and just confused as hell. Some people's logic is at an astounding low. Those people shouldn't even be allowed to vote. Leave decisions to logically sound adults. That's why Kyrie and Alex, I clowned them both. Speaking of people who wear clown makeup, here's a true story that'll sound made up. I swear it's all true, every part of it, involving who we thought was a friendly pharmacist. That already sounds crazy, like, what kind of premise is that? I couldn't make it up if I tried to invent it. It's actually my friend's story, it's weird and baffling. And she would give me updates, so here's what happened. Her daughter just had a successful procedure done. Went to get a prescription, cause her daughter needed them. As it turns out, the pharmacist there also had a daughter that happened to have the same treatment done. Um, they chatted, decided to exchange numbers, thinking there might be tips she could obtain from her. So my friend left, but already had a text before she got home to give her daughter the pain number. Little strange, whatever. They built a good rapport. But this would become the pharmacist's foot in the door. In the course of the next week, became perplexing. Went from a couple messages to daily texting. The very next thing, the oddness swells up. Now she's even texting on things that's not health stuff. Is this allowed? She wasn't afflicted at all. 
My friend ignored text to get this chick to back off. She accuses my friend, saying that she's acting different. Classic gaslighting, twist the truth and attacking with it. So my friend tells her she's being inappropriate. Of course she plays dumb, or really just don't see it. On some OBS, okay so be it. Time to dissolve the union like the Soviets. Threatens to block her, she's making it grueling. Acting obsessed after being friends for two weeks. There's a truce it seems, momentary peace treaty. And my friend's daughter, at least she's feeling much better now. So my friend wants to announce it. So goes to make a social media post about it. The pharmacist makes her own post. It was something or another about how such a caring mother could be so cold to others. So now it's discovered the pharmacist's a narcissist. And I guess sorta has borderline personality disorder. My friend tried to ignore her. Wasn't going to retort or say anything because she didn't want to hear any more of her. But here come the texts again. Four of them in a day. My friend tells her this was all a horrible mistake. My first take, wasn't the daughter's health the very reason the pharmacist wanted to stay in touch in the first place? Acting like she didn't just upload slash post that health update on her daughter. That's bullcrap. And this isn't, oh, you didn't hit like on my post. Nope, this was something important inside of my soul. If she can't say that's great or something in subtext, better off being silent than changing the subject. Look, we can't tell other adults how to behave, but we don't have to participate either, especially when that behavior doesn't dissipate. Jesus, this has been going on for well over a year now. We can't change how a person chooses to view reality when they don't have to prove it's the truth. Take the colors of a rainbow. A person might prefer violet, it's their preference, their type preferred. But if they said, I identify green as blue now, you can't just decide that. It's not true, how? Huh? Okay, we'll respect it if that's how they feel inside, but it's not hate to not want our reality redefined. 